13 days to go until the election. In the meantime, each leader is trying to win your vote. And it's very interesting to see who each one is targeting and how. We're the only people, the only party that's going to put money back into your pockets. The PC leader is focusing on Andrea Horvath's turf. Yesterday, Doug Ford was in Hamilton, her hometown. Today, the Niagara area. Combined, the NDP won seven seats in those ridings in 2018 versus two for the PCs. The mayor of Niagara Falls endorsed Ford today. He gets things across the finish line. That has to sting, but Horvath says she's not worried. Uh, I really have no idea what um, uh, what Mr. Ford uh, thinks he can and can do in these working class ridings. Working people know that Doug Ford's not on their side. Andrea Horvath is in isolation after testing positive for COVID yesterday. She says she's managing fever and fatigue, but that it's frustrating to not be out on the campaign trail, like her Liberal opponent. <laughs> Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca on the hustings in Ottawa today. His opening statements didn't even mention the NDP, a sign the grits are switching strategy to go harder on Doug Ford's PCs. Del Duca accused the Tories of abandoning Ottawa residents during the convoy protest. When he said that he was for the people, it's not true. And the people in this community know in particular he's not for the people of Ottawa. Doug Ford, cuts and chaos and havoc. I don't want any more of that. Green Party leader Mike Schreiner also campaigning in isolation due to testing positive for COVID. He made a promise to students today. And guess who he was attacking? Immediately reversed Doug Ford's cuts to the Ontario Student Assistance Program. And we will convert loans to grants for low and middle income post-secondary students. Polls consistently show Doug Ford in the lead. His team says they're confident they'll win a majority. The NDP and Liberals each insist they are a strong second and can take on the PCs. They can't both be right. Watching all the leaders today, though, it's definitely harder for the NDP and Green Party to keep up momentum on Zoom.